opening statement from Coach ahead of a big week here, big final week of the regular season for Marshall Women's Basketball? Uh, Kind of crazy that we're on our last week. Happy to be back home. Really, really big week for our program. Uh, two huge games. Um, Friday being senior day. Really quick turnaround before we play a really good um, Georgia State team. And so we were off yesterday. We're getting ready to practice now. And so just making sure that we are ready for tomorrow. Have you put any thought into the importance of the game coming up? You know, you can outright clinch. You know, are you trying to keep all of that yourself and keep your team just focus on the win? Um, I think that they know what's at stake. I think it's nice to have a little motivation at this point in the year. Um, we got to see how we play with pressure going into the tournament. And so they, they know what's they know what they're playing for. We we want to be able to, to finish what we started this week at home. Coach, with, with doing what you've done and, and through the league, there's always been that school of thought, well, if you lose one before the tournament, not so bad. You're pretty close to the tournament, you probably prefer. Not to lose, you just go on on a good note, right? Absolutely. You know, you want to win too, but it, it does not hurt you to kind of get humbled going into the tournament. Um, you don't want that. You don't ever want to lose on senior day. You don't ever want to lose a, a championship when you're so close to it. But, again, I think after our JMU loss, we got a lot better really quickly. And so sometimes getting that humbling loss going into postseason play is not the worst thing. It doesn't feel great, but sometimes it will help you in the long run. You know, it's, it feels like forever ago, um, or really early in the year when we played Georgia State. And so I, th I want to show them a different team, but they're definitely a different team. I think they're third or fourth in the league right now, playing very, very well. Um, we had Mo at 100% when we were playing that game, and so it's going to be a different game for sure. And I think both of us are much improved, so it's basically a brand-new scout. Are you finding it now that teams have seen you enough that, you know, some of the things that maybe been able to do get away with or to come back and bite you because they, they've seen you now they see how you adjust so you know what do you do to maybe make sure that you're still throwing a couple of new wrinkles out yeah, no, we're just going to be us. Um, we played the two teams last week that were new um, and that was kind of nice kind of refreshing. We played this team again I don't know how many weeks ago, but quite some time ago. We're a different team without Mo than we were with her, so it's going to feel like a different game. Um, we're we're going to they can adjust to us. Yeah, she should. Um, she's starting to practice now, and so she should hopefully be back. We'll say hopefully full go by the tournament. Um, so she's been doing a really good job of pushing herself, and maybe try to get her some minutes this week. Um, so we'll see how that goes. It's it's tough because we didn't practice yesterday, and so you got one day of practice. We've been on the road, and so you don't want to put someone in a, a situation to fail. Um, she's just such a big part of our team. How, how big is I mean, uh, incredible on just the end that she can clean up everyone's mess at the rim. I mean, she was <laughs> averaging almost four blocks a game. And where right now you get to the paint, you're scoring. You get to the paint, now you have to shoot over Mo Matthews. And so she just makes us so much better on the defensive end. And she's a good teammate. She, she leads. She wants to win. Um, she, I feel my heart hurts for her because she was playing so well right before she got hurt. She was hitting a three a game. She was getting steals. She was getting blocks. Like, she was playing at her peak in this system. And so I don't know that we'll see that version of her just because of fitness. And it's really hard to sit out six weeks in the middle of the year and then come back at that level. But I think just putting her under the rim will help our team. Coach, you were talking uh, a few weeks ago about how the beginning of the season was kind of rough for you guys. And you, you said to yourself, man, are they ever going to get this? Now you're on the verge of capturing the Sunbelt Championship. Was, can you pinpoint a point in the season, a game, a practice where you felt, man, it's clicking now and we've got something special? Um, I don't know that I can necessarily pinpoint a season, a, a point in the season. Um, I think our Florida win was a really big morale boost for our team. Um, and I don't know that we really ever looked back. We've had little lapses here and there. Um, but I don't know that we ever really looked back from that moment on. Um, and so we've gotten better and better and better. And our the, the growing pains at the beginning of the year are helping us now from everything, from being down to be able to like fight our way back into it, to the travel that the two straight weeks we spent on the road really wasn't that bad because we did it the whole month of November. So I think all of that stuff is paying off for us now.
some attention even from national media. Um, j just how, is, is that encouraging? Do you pay attention to any of the, the, the talk around, or is it just keep things in front of you? I think it's exciting for them. You know, you have a, a group that is building something, and we talked early on, maybe in the fall, maybe in the summer, about they are building something for the teams that come after them, right? And, and young people don't really necessarily see very far outside of themselves, but they are building this program for people that are still in high school. They are, they are the foundational team. And the notoriety that we get on social media and the articles that are written and the, the fans that are now coming to games, all of that, it's because of them. And they are building that, and they are the, the team one. They're the team that, that is doing that. And so I think all of that is stuff you kind of have to take with a grain of salt. You don't ever want to get too high, but you need to let them enjoy it because their hard work is what's, what's doing them. It was, it was awesome. It was really, really cool that we could pull it off and we could be back and, you know, everyone was excited. And even, like, not the reception itself, but when we were walking around, how many people said, congratulations, you're great, we'll see you Tuesday. It's amazing. We would love to have a crowd like that on Tuesday. We'd love to have a crowd like that on Friday. I think we've earned it. I think we deserve it. I know that you don't get a chance to witness championships very often, so while you have the opportunity, let's, let's do it. Um, let's do it right for the seniors that are left on this team. Does it resonate with you for those of us who've been around a long time? I don't think we've ever seen the kind of notoriety that a, the women's program is getting and deserving so. Is that something that, that resonates with you and the girls that, hey, this is almost new territory? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it's it's been really unique to just watch it grow. You know, we thought, okay, our Florida game, that's going to be our biggest crowd because we're playing Florida. And it, it wasn't great. And then they slowly start to get a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, and then, you know, we're human, so we're back there in the tunnel getting ready to run out, and you can see the girls peeking through the curtain like, wow, we have a lot of people here. Like, wow, like th there's a little something-something out there, and so they're a little bit pumped up, and it just seems to be growing and growing and growing every single game, and we're very appreciative of it. Um, and I think that the young ladies on this team are very deserving of it because not only are they going out and they're winning and they're in a championship conversation, but they go out and they play hard, and they play a fun style of play, and it's fun to watch, um, and you're going to get their heart and soul every time they take the floor. And so so they definitely are worth worth the admission. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you guys.